Hi calling friends and welcome back to my channel. Today it's time to share completed pages again. And those of you who follow me for a while know that I only share my completed pages on a quarterly basis because I just don't color enough to do monthly videos. But let me show you the stack that I've worked in the last um, couple of months. To be fair, I could have shown you this stack already at the end of May because in June June was very hectic and I hadn't had any time. I was on vacation and when I come back I yeah, just wanted to enjoy my time in a different way. I wanted to go out, enjoy the weather and this stuff, but still let's get started and I want to show you what I did. So I wish you all a lot of fun. And I want to start off with Pop Manga Cute and Creepy Coloring Book by Camilla Di Erico. And yeah, this is the only whip that I will show you this time. Because I just decided um, that you will see my whips uh, in other videos. Either you have seen them already in my colorful check-ins or on my uh, coloring weekend videos or so. Uh, this one as well, um, but yeah, I just wanted to share this one. I I really plan to finish this one. This was one of the pages that I wanted to finish in June, but somehow I wasn't feeling it, and I never want to force myself to color. So because it's a hobby, so this one is still not finished. But I really like how this little guy came up. This one was done totally with ink tents. I really enjoyed it and I plan to do a um, kind of like an intense color along on this channel so that we maybe could color one page together or so. So anyway, I plan to finish up this little guy um, early in July actually. So that was my only whip that I'm going to share this month or this in this video and now let's continue with the completed pages. So, in the last quarter I really enjoyed to work in Mouse Guard, coloring book by David Peterson, um, the cutest book. And I did two pages of this book. Let me show you the first one. I never marked my pages. This is not the one. It's here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the first page that I want to share with you. This was also done with the ink tans, pencils. And yeah, with this image I actually found my new love with them. Um, because it's so much fun to work with the ink tans. Um, they are rather quick to work with. And did this one with ink tans. And I think I, I didn't use anything else. I used a little bit of white acrylic on those stones here to give some texture actually and a little bit of white gel pen here for highlights but that's all everything else is purely ink tans a lot of fun so and then I was so intrigued with this book that I wanted to do another one And it is actually this image. So this image I also colored with ink tans. Um, also use um, watercolor pencils as a base on the mouse and can't remember but at least I used it on the mouse and I used it for the background. Yeah that's right I used watercolor pencils for the background and then I went on top with um, gelatos, those iridescent ones. And these give this really nice violet and like a greenish glitter shimmer here. I hope, I hope it's picking up here actually. And for embellishment, so you can see the things that are shining so nicely here also on the mouse, like on the fur, here on the um, sword, on the stones. This was done actually with um, Perfect Pearls by Ranger. This is some yeah, mica powder with binder included and I just um, mix it with water and then I can um, add it here as yeah, some finishing touches. Um, yeah, so this is how this looks. I 
I hope you like this image. So I also was thinking about maybe we could do something from this book together. But I know that this book is quite old and not everyone has it. But still, let me know if you're interested in Mouse Guard. I would love to know. Yeah. I love to move the pages so that the um, embellishments are showing up. So cool. Okay, so this was Mouse Guard. So, then I've worked in another book of my 10 books to finish and it is The Enchanted Faces by Hanalin. I have a ton of whips in here again. I tried to finish some of them but started again new ones and yeah, this is one whip that I continued actually. Uh, I really liked how the face came out actually. I, that was um, quite nice. But then um, I'm not that happy with the outcome of this page and that is actually because of her wings. I wanted to try this um, um, Glitterific by Folk Art and yeah this was some glitter acrylic paint uh, which I got new and in the light it, it just shimmers really nice but what I didn't like about it um, I think you can see it, it has all those different shaped and sized um, things in it and this doesn't look right to me. If it were all those little dots it would be just fine but this this looks like um, like thrash or how you tell it. It just looks like it doesn't belong in there. So next time I would use it I would try to um, pick this up and not let it dry so that I don't get those unshaped things in there and only get those that really belong there and I think I wouldn't use it on wings again because I think no no it doesn't fit that it doesn't fit that maybe on a background or so but not for wings and then on the hair I've used a, a gel pan it was I think the jelly roll um, clear star and I don't like that effect either <laughs> I have to admit I think this is because the line work in Hannah Lindbergh is quite bold and um, somehow, yeah, with this glitter pen, I think it works better on a finer line art. I had used this on a Mystic Art Mirrors. I tried it out and I really loved it, but not on the Hannah Lynn, I have to admit. I do like, though, um, I put some Arteza gel pants, also the iridescent ones, on her eyelashes. And this is an effect that I think looks quite cool. So this I do like. Yeah, I do like how her face came out. She's colored with Prisma colors and the hair, I think, with polychromos. Um, background, I can't remember actually. I think it was maybe. Yeah, maybe the Castle Art Gold because I tried to use them quite a bit these days. But yeah, so this one's not my favorite. Haha, <laughs> Mini Mandalas by Jet Summer. I usually don't color mandalas. And but I did one this last quarter, and this was because I filmed a embellishment video, and I just wanted to yeah demonstrate some gel pens, <laughs> and therefore I used this page here, and then later on I just thought, oh this is so relaxing to put those um, glitter gel pens down to paper, so that I just finished it off with the color combo that I got there, and yeah so. Nothing to say a whole lot about this one, really simple coloring, but it was just really relaxing and fun. <clears throat> and then I actually did another one of those relaxing images, it was from the Dreamland by uh, Coco Wayo, and it was the whale page, when I can find it. It was this whale page, and I had announced in my last plants video that I plan to color this one here very relaxing because this um, screen for gel pans in my opinion and there were some of you who wanted to see how I do it and I have filmed it but when I uh, well wanted to start to edit it I found it so boring to watch so I don't know I don't know if you still want to see it let me know then I will take the time to edit it Maybe you will do it still because I spent the time, but 
Yeah, this is a very, very simple coloring. It's mainly gel pens. You can see I did marker base, alcohol marker base on the veil and just went over with a glitter um, brush pen. And the little boat is colored with Arteza pencils. And some of the uh, gel pen combos I actually really like, like this one here. Use the Arteza ones here and they change the color a bit. And I did a blend from um, like a silver into a turquoise into a bluish violet um, gel pen. And yeah, this color combo I really like. I don't know if it's really showing up here, but yeah. So this was the whale page from Coco Wayo. And I have to say, this was my first finished colored page in a Coco Wayo book. And now I really want to get started with actually a real coloring, like yeah, something where you have to use pencils. So, that will be my next journey for Cocoa, I guess. So, then I want to continue with Fairy and Fantasy by Christine Karen. Um, I hope the name is showing up. Another one of my tan books to finish and uh, it was a whip and I continued it and I filmed it on my Colorful Weekend, um, the Mermaid Edition, so if you want to see some of it I can link it for you. I have used um, ink tens as a base on the plants and um, yeah I went over with pencils. The hair was done with the Black Widow pencils. They have beautiful violet color combinations. Now I found out beautiful red color combinations. Beautiful greens and yeah lovely pencils. And I used a little bit of a glitter medium here in the water. Some of my new um, play stuff. I think that it went a little bit too dark maybe. But I guess it's okay. It's okay. So then a little bit of um, shiny watercolors on this little one here. On the wings as you can see. And yeah. The skin was done already with um, Prisma colors. I think I did it last year and then I finished up the rest. No, it's not true. It's actually not true. I colored the face in the first quarter this year. And the only thing that I have started was, I think, um, a base with gelatos on those sea roses here. So that was all. Yeah, so um, that's this image here. It's colored directly in the book. So the next image that I want to share is from Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. And um, I call it this one as preparation. Actually, I will take this out for my embellishment video. So I used uh, literally, so I've used everything that I have or everything that I use on this uh, image here to embellish it. <laughs> to um, yeah, just be able to share it in this um, embellishment video. So I need to move it around a little bit so that you, the camera can hopefully pick it up. So a lot of shiny watercolors, glitter here, this was a stickled gel. And then on all the crystals there's different stuff on there glossy accents on the hoard in the middle. So from this page I have created at least two videos but I still need to edit them so you know always the same story with me. I film a lot. I have so much film material on my computer. You, you wouldn't believe it. I just uh, yeah need to sit down and edit it. But yeah so I really like actually um, the outcome. I'm really happy with it. I think uh, it looks nice. Nicer than I expected to be honest. Um, because yeah, I thought just throw down everything that I've got. And um, a bunch of crystals here. A bunch of crystals. But yeah. Um, actually I really enjoy to work on this image here. And I do have another started one in this book. But I decided to not show it at the moment. Whoops, just a little sneaky picky. But if you want to see it um, next week, I will have my 
um, TPC video calling plans for the next quarter and then I will show my uh, whip from this book so if you want to see it make sure to come back <laughs> so this was Hannah called um, Magical Dawn so then I have worked in um, the book My Little Mermaids Digital Printable Coloring Book by Mario Laboudec. This is another one of my 10 books to finish. It contains only 9 images and with this quarter I have done 4 images. So let me show you. So this is one of the images that I managed to finish and um, color this quarter. And you have seen this maybe also in my colorful weekend because I uh, demonstrated how to apply embellishments to this image here and so if you want to know exactly what is all um, added here I think I have some bubbles here in the um, glossy accents this doesn't look so good but <laughs> it is what it is now I have my uh, new glitter watercolor here on her um, stuff here I really love this. Um, this is the Mirror Dust by the Art Spirit by from Re Rebecca. I have some Arteza shiny watercolors here on her tails. Typical Clear Star Jelly Roll here on the fins. Some of my Perfect Pearls here on those plants. Glossy accents on the shell here. And uh, yeah. The background was colored with ink tents and then went over with um, the gelatos with the iridescent ones. As I said, I really like to use the iridescent gelatos on top of either uh, neocolor, watercolor or ink tents. Um, especially on water or backgrounds. Like, yeah, backgrounds basically. Because they give this nice um, shimmer and shift of color. If you see here down in the corner you cannot see it but when you put it in the right direction it will shimmer like a violet. That looks actually really nice. I think really nice effect for water. Also really like this greenish shimmery glittery um, stuff here. I could have worked a little bit more um, cleaner of course but yeah it is what it is now, right? So let me show you the other one and I have to say that this is one of my favorites that I've colored this um, quarter because yeah this was actually a started one and in one of my colorful check-ins you have seen uh, a little bit of update but now it's finished and I really like how the color composition came out. I really like this turquoise blue in the background with the blonde hair and the um, orange tail. I think the orange tail and the um, turquoise green blue that looks really stunning. I also added those um, yeah gelatos on it. This is also one of the iridescent ones. And then I smoothed it out a little bit with just some normal gelatos. I used ink tons on the background um, here at the bottom part at the water. So I really like to use ink tons lately and when it's a little bit tricky. I like to smooth it out with gelatos, with either the normal colors that will make it just a little bit smoother or with those uh, shimmery ones like here to give a little bit of extra shimmer and color actually. And then here on her tail, it was also colored with ink tents by the way, so the tail was also done with ink tents and I went over with some acrylic paint pens to draw in those um, patterns here to reinforce them actually again and to cover up the lines and then went over a little bit with most probably Paul Rubin shimmer paints because the Paul Rubin ones are still my favorite can't help it. Uh, also used I think this is also Paul Rubin one here the shiny thing out as which I really like to use as outlining I also like to use my perfect pulled for it but those shimmer paints they work just as good so no need to get perfect pulls only for that reason. Um, but yeah, 
give you a little bit of close-up but I think I will give you the close-ups anyway so yeah finished another one by Mario Laboudec I'm really happy with this one here added in some bubbles here in the background and your yeah, her skin was done already last year so this was a started page and I just finished it I'm very happy about it this really brought back the fun that I have for this book and uh, yeah only five more images to go when I've started so another one on my 10 books to finish uh, you can see that I really uh, focused on my 10 books to finish uh, 10 books to finish books so this is um, Colin Chicks the fantasy fairy portraits um, grayscale from Daria Sakersoy and in this book I did this image here but I had printed it on this toned paper here and um, I'm struggling to get everything on frame today but can you see something here on her dress this is also the Mirror Dust by Rebecca, the Art Spirits. I really love this glitter. It looks very um, cool. Really like this effect. I also put it here on her um, eyeshadow, and I think this works really well on eyeshadow because it's really clear, and only the glitter particles are um, yeah reflecting in the light in all different colors actually and yeah so um, it was like a risk to try this new um, watercolor on a big space like that but I was really happy when I did it and I think that this medium will be one of my favorite um, glitter mediums that I have that I put thus and yeah um, yeah what can I tell you this paper wasn't my favorite. It's not a, a brand that I could tell you. It's it was just really some toned paper. Uh, I just got it. Thought okay, let's try it out. And no, don't really like it. It's very very grainy. Even though it doesn't look like that, but it 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 eats up your pencil if you so will. So I used my Castle Art Black on here because I didn't want to waste my Prismacolor Black. Uh, I have to say that I'm really happy with the castle art black though and um, all the colors were burnished in with a blender pencil because otherwise you would see all the spots shine through and yeah I wasn't willing to uh, waste my pencil so I did maybe two layers two layers and then just burnished it in with a blender pencil and yeah after all, I'm still quite happy because I think it's just the image itself that looks so nice. Uh, but what I love most about it, I think, is the glitter. The glitter dress, the glitter eye makeup. Um, yeah, I think that looks just really, really cool, really nice. I really also like the color combination of the red wings and the blue dress. Blonde hair and I also like the background here. This was also done with the castle arts, I believe. I will um, come up with a video sharing of my color combinations in the next yeah next week so to speak um, so if you want to know all the specific color combinations of my finished pages then stay tuned for that so that was Darius Sakasoy let me show you the book again oopsie glare glare alert <laughs> so um, yeah this is the original this is my version looks not too bad I guess huh it looks okay so and we are already with the last book fairy and fantasy 3 by Christine Karen but in this book at least I managed to color three images this is also one of my ton books to finish and so let me share the first one with you this is the Happy Fairy and I really love this design. I think maybe this book, the third book of the um, Fairy and Fantasy series, it might be my absolute favorite one by Christine Karen. Because it has all those stunning and beautiful fairy images. You can see that I also added quite a bit of embellishments here. 
uh, yeah, all different stuff actually. I've tried out the Opal Glaze Polish by Cosmic um, Shimmer on her wings. This was something that I got new and just wanted to try. Then here on her dress I put a lot of um, glitter, like those glitter brush pens, like uh, like the Wink of Stella, something like Wink of Stella, but I usually use one from uh, Nouveau, I think. And then some stickles in different colors, you can see it there. Also some um, perfect pearls. Here also uh, either shimmer paint or perfect pearls, not sure about it. And yeah, it just has really a ton of glitter. But yeah, I think also her skin came up came out quite nicely I think and I really love this color combination for a dress here <laughs> yeah I'm really happy with that one as well and yeah so um, oh yeah I didn't base it with alcohol markers because I started to play with water-based markers I like the um, pastel set by Ohuhu um, those I really like for base layering because the colors are very light and they go just so well for coloring. And I think they change the um, surface of the paper just a bit. Maybe they make it just a tinsy bit rougher. And then I, it's my feeling, I'm not quite sure if it's really true, but I think that uh, the paper takes the colors a little bit better. And um, yeah, that it comes out a little bit more vibrant, but it could be my imagination, of course. So let me show you the second image. So this is a very flower crown and I also really like how this one came out. I try to color more in the books because I just like it when the pages are directly on the book. And yeah, on this one I did a distressed background, try to do mimic a little bit of a cloudy um, sky background, a little bit of grass area down here. So this is all done with distress inks and I didn't went over, I put a little bit of water splashes here, I hope it's it's uh, showing up. This is what gives this um, interesting texture actually. I really like the effect, so um, distress inks, very nice to use in these books. The paper doesn't buckle and they blend so beautifully, they are vibrant, the colors are so vibrant and yeah, I really like it. So on her dress I call it another glitter dress. So uh, yeah, I just added some, some glitters there actually and some dots. And then on the wings I've used um, yeah, a uh, glitter brush pen. And then I went over with Paul Rubin shimmer paints to outline the fairy wings. So that it looks like they are translucent but also kind of like shimmery reflecting or something like that and yeah on her um, eyes I don't know if it's shown up but I tried to give her a little bit of a pink um, yeah eye shadow or makeup and I think that looks really nice really cute really like it so quite happy with this one here and I hope you like it too so and then I did one last page here in this book and it is the next page which I um, didn't do directly in the book so I can close this one. On this image here I have a video in which I share how to do those um, gelato clothes so I will link it up in the corner in the info box below if you want to check it out. If you want to know how to do a cloudy background with gelatos or other gel crayons it should work as well, so everything that is quite jelly. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I don't know what to say about her actually. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, this is the last image that I colored, and yeah, that was all again. So, and that's all for this video again. I hope you enjoyed my completed pages. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you have a favorite of these. And um, yeah, hopefully in the next quarter I will have some more for you. 
Um, don't, remember to check in next week if you want to see my coloring plans and some of the whips that I've got for the next quarter, so for July, August and September. And yeah, think about the poll in the community um, tab. So if you want to influence which uh, page we use for the darker skin tutorial, you can vote it. You can vote over there. It's still active. So um, just check it out if you like. And I hope I will see you on my next video, guys. So um, I wish you all the best. Take care, everyone. And bye.